In this video, we're going to take a look at Android Cyanogen Mod 13. I think it's the best version, as I already said in my previous video, but now on a MacBook. And the things we need to do uh to get things going um you won't lose any file so you don't have to worry you don't have to create any partition nada like that uh only thing that you will need to do is install software called refined and refined is in fact uh the update um that i spoke about uh, in my previous video of refit um even though refined is out there i'm still also using refit on other machines that I needed uh, to run on but uh, on this in in this video we're gonna I'm gonna show you refined uh, we're gonna install it and if you already had refit installed you will at a certain moment if you hit the installer the refined install it's it's a zip package and just open the package and there you will find a little black black folder called uh, uh, refined install just hit it and the install will open the terminal window and then it will say at a certain moment hey um would you you know like to remove the refit and bless bloody bloody blah just say yes you know and you'll be good to go and then after the reboot you will find out that you have a new boot boot chooser boot selector uh, in your mac called refined so we go from there all right so in fact this is the folder of uh, refined it's it's just a folder with with some some yeah folders inside and you see refined install you know just hit the installer it's a unix uh, file and it will you know it will do the installer for you okay so now we installed it and we're gonna restart the computer okay though that's what we're gonna do and of course we have our bootable USB stick that we created with UNet boot in that could be on a Mac Windows here you can see the new refined uh, 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 yeah boot management and it looks really colorful uh, you know thumbs up refined really I had to take a look at this lot but I I didn't know that the refined was from the same guys so yeah tja, I don't know so thumbs up uh this looks oh no no i didn't want that what are you doing i was talking can't you see i was talking so um yeah no no problem peeps uh we're gonna boot it up again gonna go to refined and then we're gonna go to where this video is starting in fact running android on our MacBook, but not just Android, not just Android, but I'm not sure if you can see this all. The text uh, all went a little bit small, and now boom, there we go, peeps. <laughs> Look at that, Cyanogen Mod x86, but this could also be Lineage OS booting on the MacBook. And this is the MacBook White 4.1, pretty good machine. And uh, it uh, it's really nice because it's really fast. There it is already. And this is not like uh, Bliss that we must wait uh, one hour before it boots this is really fast there we go we're just gonna hit the next you can see that we have a mouse it works we're waiting for the wi-fi wi-fi works here we're gonna skip anyway cyanogen mod is not there anymore so we're gonna release that not needed boom boom 
There you go. Bam. What do you say, peeps? What do you say? And uh, everyday works, volume works, the light dimmer and lower that works. You see that? Everything works except the microphone and the microphone is not working in fact and the cam so this thing cannot listen to you and it cannot look at you so that is that is kind of good that is really apple you know they think about your privacy right peeps so this is the apple uh, cyanogen mod book <laughs> I think it looks fantastic. What do you say, peeps? Can I have a random applause? <laughs> I think this is really nice for, uh, especially uh, people that have uh, a MacBook with a broken With a broken, uh, how you call this? With a broken hard drive, because this thing is not running uh, from the hard drive of the Mac. So, in fact, every Mac you could, you know, do this with. And what you can do as well is pop in a thing like this, and then you will also have a space where you can save stuff. So, yeah. Uh, only thing is, um, if you're gonna turn this machine off, then this then this Linux uh, this this Android is also gone. So it's really nice to to um, quickly connect to the internet, you know, or maybe listen to music. You can install stuff. You can. Um, no, thank you. Uh, oh, oh yeah, YouTube videos are also playing black. So you cannot watch video. You can listen to the sound of the video, but you cannot play it. Let me let me try to show you. I'm gonna open the app always. No later. There's a new version available. Let's see what's gonna happen if it's gonna play the video. Oh, it's playing the video. Well, no, it's not playing the video. You see, it's. Wagensveld, de voorman van Pegida, is gearresteerd. Dit keer nog voordat hij überhaupt aan het demonstreren was. Goedemiddag. U bent aangehouden wegens overtreding van artikel 11 van de wet open. Oké. So, um, what can I say? Uh, you cannot watch video, but you can listen to music. And. Uh, you cannot make phone calls because you have no microphone. Let me show that real fast. I'm just showing you the things that are not working. But for the rest, everything is working. Eh? Sound recorder here. I'm going to turn on the sound. One, two. It wants allow, allow, but it will not do anything. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's recording. Yesterday it was not. Stop. So let me see where's my recording. Few recordings. Of course, hello. What kind of question is that? Play it. I don't hear nada. Do you hear something? I don't know. This is crazy, man. What the crap is this? Where is my sound recorder? I don't even know what this is, peeps. Music isn't report responding. Useless app. Shouldn't it play? Oh, maybe I should hit play here on top, you stupid. No. Um, I don't know. I think that is not working, peeps. I don't know. 
We don't know. This is crazy business. But um, yeah, as you can see, you have Android now running on your Mac. And let's see how this thing was recognized. It was recognized as, I think, it's saying MacBook 1.1. I'm not sure if you can read it there. Really small. Uh, Android 601. Very stable. So, yeah. What can I say, peeps? What can I say? This is it. And uh, maybe you can install it to some USB stick. I did not try that out. But I'm going to leave that up to you. Because I, in fact, don't want to install this. I just wanted to see if it runs. And as you can see, it runs. It works. It works fine. Uh, on the one gigabyte USB stick that we used for this uh, project. Here it is. The little stick. Yeah, we even have Play Store, but we're not going to use that. But uh, you can download stuff. Uh, I installed one mobile market onto the thing. Let me show you. I have some downloads already. Wait, I'm going to show you. One second. Uh, let's go home. Let's go to the SD drive. I think I need my file manager for that. And then here somewhere you're going to see one mobile downloads. Hold on. Here somewhere. Um, where is my external, my USB storage? Oh, the USB storage was not connected when I... Uh, let me see something there. No. Okay, so that means uh, the USB uh, uh, that you want to use must be connected whenever you're going to uh, boot up your Android. Otherwise, it's not like plug and play. It will not, at least, let's try to do a little bit crazy things like this. Push it in now. Maybe it is. Let's look. Let's look in the settings. And let's look at storage and USB. Oh, it's saying uh, corrupted. What is it saying? Go back? How, many, how much gigabytes? Setup. Use as internal storage. UT USB drive. I don't hope that this. Hmm. Oh, it's uh, formatting the card. You see that? It's showing a card. Can you see that? You cannot see it so good, maybe. It's kind of dark here, but this, this is showing a card. And it's at 20%, so I'm going to leave it, get myself some tea, and then I'm going to get back to you. All the right. craziness of uh, Android x86. You see that, what I'm talking about? The craziness. I forgot to turn off the... You know, this is such a big hassle, eh? To get this thing going. Because the mouse is reacting really strange now. I opened something. And then, look what happened. Piece of crap. You see, this is... This is the common sense of... of, of, of of Android developers out there for x86. This is the common sense they have. Yes, you can install on your computer. Do you already see yourself on your computer, you know, doing a crazy thing what I'm doing right now? <laughs> I mean, like this thing is x86. What kind of rotation are you putting on it? Remove the blood clot rotation. That is having no common sense. You must make sure that uh, 180 degrees is selected. Yeah, this one here. 180. 
and this one no and this one piss off and then home it should go home no man unbelievable wow this is yeah yo peeps it's crazy you see how much things i had to do to turn the stupid screen did you see that maybe in china they 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 work with with their laptops like this you know maybe in china they do that but here in the netherlands we don't do that man i mean mr wong come on man for so many years you're already creating android and still screens are rotating what kind of rubbish is that Tja. i'm already irritated man i don't want to look at this anymore sorry for that it irritated me i mean like screen turning on a laptop you know how what how much pain it is to go and you saw it just now embarrassing me while i'm making this video but peeps this is how you can run uh cyanogen mod on your macbook it's amazing first thing you must do of course is go to the screen rotation turn the crazy thing off i don't even know why it's there maybe mr wong can tell us you know in a nice little in in 10 words why he you know insert you know maybe you guys there at cyanogen mod also can give me a little bit of you know in 10 words why you know that piece of crap is not already removed out of out of the system a screen that is rotating on your laptop <laughs> hey peeps i'm gonna wish you goodbye uh, have a nice night i'm going out i'm tired of these crazy computers love to see you in my next video don't know exactly what it will be about ah i remember it's gonna be about the third world the third world smart tv smart tv for poor people until then